Bonjour à tous et à toutes, je suis Tenko et je suis ici pour vous présenter un nouvel épisode sur Metal Gear Solid 3 en version HD s'il vous plaît sur la PlayStation 3 et... 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 ah oui putain c'est vrai il fallait que je refasse ce passage du coup et on est reparti alors euh... j'ai fait du gros fail hein, pendant qu'on était en, en neuf je me suis planqué ici et j'ai réussi à échapper au garde mais du coup euh... Dans ce... Cette fois-ci, ils sont pas morts, là, comme vous pouvez le constater, il y en a un là. Et je vais aller à la porte dès qu'il se sera un peu éloigné. Voilà, on y va. Et là, il va y avoir une cinématique, donc je me tais. You must be Sokolov. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the Army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the Motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the Army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far, but the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside... Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. 
having second thoughts. No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. So this is the legendary boss. Huh? from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. An ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? Oh, 
Spartans! What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Major! Leave it! Shoot the other one! I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. Et voilà, nous reprenons le contrôle. Donc évidemment, tout le monde sont assommés ou endormis, hein, étant donné que je vous rappelle que mon arme n'est que un tranquillisant. Donc j'espère que vous avez apprécié cette cinématique. Et là, on va... Ah, je vais vous montrer un petit easter egg. Ah, attendez, il faut que je prenne mon sac à dos. Et que j'utilise... Euh... Ah, j'avais ramassé un petit peu toutes ces armes. Ah oui, oui, forcément, comme ça fait à peu près un mois que j'ai pas joué. Euh, les... Alors c'est un petit truc, c'est un petit détail, mais si vous avez euh, sauvegardé, par exemple, il y a... Je crois que c'est peut-être au bout d'une semaine ou deux. Euh, bah en fait la nourriture que vous avez sur vous se gâte, elle devient pourrie donc euh, bah, vous n'avez plus qu'à l'acheter à ce moment là euh, mais bon, on s'en fout pour l'instant je vais juste vous montrer un easter egg assez sympathique que j'ai adoré faire alors donc là vous, vous avez vu ce mec là donc il s'appelle Oslot est-ce qu'il a pas quelque chose sur lui d'ailleurs une souricière, youpi, ça, ça me fait une belle jambe donc 
Que se passe-t-il si on tue Ocelot Et voilà, menu du game over. Snake, what have you done? You changed the future. You created a time paradox. Tu as créé un paradoxe temporel. <rire> Et là, regardez les lettres qui changent. Il me semble que ça va faire quelque chose. Il me semblait que ça faisait un truc en particulier. Alors, il me semblait que ça marquait paradoxe. Mais je me trompe peut-être. Ouais, si, c'est en train de le marquer, je crois. Je crois que les lettres changent au fur et à mesure. Passadox, vous voyez. Time Paradox, voilà, ça va marquer Time Paradox. Donc, pourquoi ce easter egg Pourquoi Time Paradox Eh bien ça, euh, cher public, je suis désolé, mais je vais pas vous dire pourquoi. Euh, C'est à vous de deviner pourquoi ça fait un paradoxe temporel. Voilà. Et vous le devinerez probablement par vous-même euh, en continuant à regarder euh, mes épisodes euh, ou en jouant vous-même au jeu. Bon, donc on va rejoindre euh, bah, de nouveau euh, un endroit un petit peu plus verdoyant, si on peut dire. Enfin, on peut le dire d'ailleurs. Est-ce que je peux jeter ça Ce serait possible ou pas Oui, vaut mieux. Euh, donc on va changer le camouflage en conséquence. On va se mettre quelque chose de plus vert de toute façon. La forêt. Et... Et, 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 et ben... Ouais, ça c'est un très très bon camouflage. Et on avance. Donc il va y avoir encore des cinématiques, je vais devoir me taire encore pour un, pendant un petit moment. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's what they were making you build. Yes. The Shagahod. The treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No, this is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete. Phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. Je voulais voir ma femme et mon enfant de nouveau en Amérique. S'il vous plaît, me prenez à l'Amérique, rapidement Ils ne peuvent pas compléter sans mon aide. J'ai compris. Allons-y.
boss. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Kuabara. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? My face. We can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. Ugh! <sighs> 
the new blood has been rejected. Done here. Now on to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Et après cette trahison horrible, on se retrouve complètement quasiment mort même. C'est un miracle que Snake s'en soit sorti après une chute pareille et J'imagine qu'il a dû se prendre des rochers et des trucs sur la gueule aussi au passage. Et donc du coup, c'est une bonne excuse pour nous apprendre le système de guérison de ce jeu. Qui est plutôt développé et qui est plutôt sympa. Et oui, c'est plutôt bien. Donc là, du coup, il va falloir que j'utilise des points de suture, des pansements, styptiques, des infectants. Et j'ai soigné une coupure comme ça. Et on refait ça à chaque fois. Alors on peut le faire dans n'importe quel ordre, c'est le seul truc qui est un petit peu débile. Euh, parce que bon, euh, c'est évident que si vous mettez euh, le pansement en premier, vous allez avoir du mal à mettre du désinfectant ou des points de suture, hein, c'est un... assez logique. Mais bon, on leur en veut pas. Os fracturé, donc là j'aurais besoin bien entendu d'une attelle et d'un pansement. Coupure profonde, donc euh, on en a déjà soigné. Et un autre os fracturé. Bon voilà, c'est un petit truc qui est de plus à gérer dans le jeu, mais après, bon, euh, niveau réalisme, bon, c'est assez moyen forcément, le mec qui se soigne comme ça, 
C'est un peu grobile, surtout pour les os fracturés. D'ailleurs, on va voir une cinématique par rapport à ça. On va le voir se soigner à un os fracturé. Euh, donc c'est parti, je vais devoir me taire à nouveau. <rire> 